Americans gathered 34 years ago today to witness history and instead saw horror as the space shuttle Challenger exploded above Kennedy Space Center. One of the seven astronauts lost that day was a CU grad. Colonel Elson Anzuka's love for the buffs lives on. Byron Reed has that story. And the Heritage Center is a museum that tells the history of the campus. Sometimes it takes seeing things with your own two eyes. We have Glenn Miller's gallery. We have his original gold record and his see you trombone that he hawked for a bus ticket to Hollywood. To understand the importance of the past. I think it's really important that you can get a first-hand look at some of the objects that go along with the stories that we tell. Allison Smith is the director of the Heritage Center on the campus of CU Boulder and says the center is a point of pride for the university. We get 49,000 people a year through here, and so we're very happy to share the story of CU with them. We're in the Space Exploration Gallery. We have 20 astronauts associated with CU. Stories of alumni like Ellison Onizuka, who lost his life in the Space Shuttle Challenger explosion 34 years ago today. Ellison had taken with him, as several astronauts do, some personal objects that he wanted to fly up and then bring back. Two of those were a CU football that's marked and also a CU engineering flag. Smith says the items were recovered intact by NASA and returned to his widow, Lorna. And then Lorna donated them to the Heritage Center. Smith says she's happy to share the pride of the university. And we have the campus laid out in Legos. And the alumni from CU who made history come to life. For next, I'm Byron Reed.